Yo guys, Jonathan here. So this past Friday, I thought it'd be a good idea to edit a video from start to finish on the iPad Pro. Plot twist was, it was a time sensitive Kevin Kenson video that we were trying to shoot, edit, and get up all on YouTube the exact same day. He has no faith in me. I have some faith in like, you. Like five out of 10 IGN? Uh, four and a half. This was shot on a Sony a7 III in 4K with a mix of 120 FPS slow motion video, transferred directly through USB-C to the iPad Pro, and then edited in LumaFusion, which is hands down the best option out right now. Also, quick update, the iPad Pro review is taking just a little longer than I hope, but I promise it will be worth it. Stay tuned this week. And for now, let's go ahead and watch me either successfully edit on the iPad Pro or fail and fall on my face. So we're gonna start with the Kevin clip. Drag it in. Here we go. So the one thing I've learned is the uh, Apple Pencil essentially becomes your mouse. So for those that want mouse support, this is your mouse. That's the way you gotta look at it on the iPad Pro. What I would like to do is get the audio levels just balanced first so I don't have to deal with that later. Oh, you got like everything on here. So you got, you got a compressor. Let's try that out. Featuring not only the Switch with a special design, a dock with a special design, and special Joy-Cons, but also a copy of the game, and even this little Pokeball controller we're gonna get to a little later. Before we break down everything that came in the box, I wanna talk about the box itself. Not bad. Kevin's gonna hate me for playing his voice that loud. And what I oh, think of cool. them, I wanna talk about the box. On? And on the back of the box, instead of having Off. a bunch of boring info with contents and legal nice. stuff, they put all that stuff on the side, and instead you get this Hey, they awesome said we got the same haircut, Rich. Oh yeah, we go to the same barber, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> Itzel is not on Instagram, but uh, shout out to Itzel. She's amazing. With a copy of the game, and also uh, this little Pokemon. I think I could get like, I think I could get a little louder, just a little bit. This is the final one of the year, and I would argue that's healthy. Actually possibly the best. That's it's also healthy. the largest because there is a lot of stuff going on here. We have not only a special edition Switch, but also special edition. Now, I want to point out one thing. Anyone who's edited video, now this is a 4K clip. Anyone who's edited on a MacBook Pro, you know those fans sounds like a jet engine taken off. It's quiet. And I guess this is kind of like a look into my workflow in general. What I usually like to do, like if I have a talking head segment, is just to, one, kind of color grade it and get the audio set so I can just chop, 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 and it's ready to go. So audio's done with Kevin. I think I'm gonna try and just give it a little bit of a look. Out of the, out of the camera, the Sony looks amazing, I think. But we're going to, to tweak it, just spice it up a little bit. They got some, some color presets, anti-green. I wonder how that looks. Uh, it's not bad, that's like a little too much. Usually with the way we shoot, we have so much green around us, like we have plants and trees and the floor is green, so I'll typically just pull out a little bit of green so we can actually do that in the basic color correction. And what I'm gonna do is just pull a little bit of green. Usually with the Sony stuff, we don't need to. I'm gonna go like, just minute. What I'll probably end up doing is uh, maybe Give it a little more contrast, pull out the shadows, and if you want to, you can actually use LUTs. This little Pokeball controller we're gonna get to a little bit later, but before we talk about any of this stuff in depth and what I think of them, I wanna talk about the box. Steve, what you think? That looks better, huh? Sure. Color correct on? Yeah. yeah, definitely. Give it a little bit of brightness. Ooh, that's nice. Damn. You guys are gonna know, but I guarantee you when we upload this to Kevin's channel, no one's gonna know that it was shot on an A7 and also edited on iPad. You can get like really in there to like the waveform. All right, so I think, what was it? Command B was blade, and then Command X is delete. Today is the day Pokemon Let's Go Eevee and Pikachu are finally here. With them, we're Okay, let's get that. Chop time. We're getting Chop another city. special edition Switch bundle. All right, so that's like the end point. I'm going to hit that point, blade. Next talking point. And something I think is a really neat idea is that they actually also incorporate- You know what kind of blows my mind with this is like the, if, you're, if you use like Final Cut or Premiere on a, on a desktop or a MacBook, like in Final Cut, you have the option to play back like full quality or optimized media. Both look really good, but like Courtney, come check out like the playback. 
this little Pokeball controller we're gonna get to a little bit later. But before we talk about any of this stuff in depth and what I think of them, I wanna talk about the box. As for the system, like, this is really the small. most yeah, thorough special edition Nintendo has done so far. All the ones you've had in the past, they'll do things like maybe something on the dock, maybe something on the Switch, maybe something on the Joy-Cons. This one, we're getting all three. And first, I want to look at the Joy-Cons. Kev, we're, we're chopping. Yeah? How's it going? Amazing. And after the- Command B. And- Kev, you're a, you're a, you're a one take wonder sometimes. This looks good. I think Nintendo could do better. Ooh, shots fired. The audio is like, everything's Which, good, man. Still a cool bundle, but I just think there'd be one extra cool thing, especially for old school fans of the series. Like, for those that have been following me, like, I've been putting a lot of, a lot of, a lot of work into this iPad review. But I wanted to kind of put my money where my mouth is, is that the same? This is like smooth, man. So Gonna ditch your iMac Pro? <laughs> no. <laughs> not yet. So, with that being- But it, but like, it feels like- Like it's the future? This is the future. It's just a little collectible. It's really awesome. Damn, Kevin's got some, some length. So pretty much the, the base cut right now um, is done. We did like a couple alternate takes with different focal lengths, just kind of like cropped in on Kevin. Uh, so right now I'm just gonna go through those, but the base cut right now is done about 345 without like any intro music montage kind of thing. The classic outro though for every special edition unboxing would be like, all right, cool, we unboxed all this stuff. I'm gonna go play it. <laughs> like, <laughs> finally here, Pokemon. Let's see. Pokemon Let's Go Eevee and Pikachu Man, are out. I will say, Sony A7, like, hands down. Be I'm sorry, I'm sorry, GH. I know. You're, you're about to lie. No, no, no. I'm, I know, I know you got, you got a GH5. I know you got a GH5. And it's the best. No. A7, A7. All right, so next, what I wanna do is. Music time. There was like that one track that I liked. This is a this track. It's not for Kevin, but it's a. It's like kind of like grammaticy. Wait for it. Wait for it. That piano. I think this is the track. This is a good track. Music bed. <laughs> I can hear Kevin's voice over over this right now. I'm like waiting for the drop. Hey guys, Kevin here. Today we're doing the Pokemon Go. Pokemans. Pokemans? I Pokemans. Here we go. Ooh. It's kind of a subtle drop. That's a good drop though. It's not like it doesn't punch you in the face. You know, we have that like beauty shot of Kev too. In depth on any of those though, I want to talk about the box. Ooh. Yeah, put that on the beginning. Chop this in. So, yeah. We'll try that. <laughs> All that for a little shot. Not only a special edition Switch, but also Joy Cons and a dock. And before we go in depth on any of those though. Jeez. Is this going to be ridiculous? Oh, wow. That works. We can get to a little bit later, but before we talk about any of this stuff in depth and what I think of them, I want to talk about the box. Pacing is on point. So, this little Pokeball controller we can get to a little bit later, but before we talk about any of this stuff in depth and what I think of them, I want to talk about the box. As for the system, this is the most- Ooh, we're so close. This little Pokeball controller we can get to a little bit later, but before we talk about any of this stuff in depth and what I think of them, I want to talk about the box. As for the system, this is the most thorough special edition Nintendo has done. This is what I do all the time when I edit. I want to talk about the box. Yeah. Do I do any like moves here? I do. Thank goodness. Yeah, that's dope with the speaker. Right? 
I wish you could like, if you could like nest and compound and like speed ramp and then speed ramp, you know? Mm. Probably like shorten that up a little bit. Ooh. Matt, this is amazing. Is it? It's, it's amazing. I'm almost cussed right now. <laughs> Dude, check, like. I'm coming, I'm coming. It's effing amazing. Today is the day Pokemon Let's Go Eevee and Pikachu are finally here, and with them, we're getting another special edition Switch bundle. This is the final one of the year, and I would argue, actually possibly the best. It's also the largest because there is a lot of stuff going on here. We have not only a special edition Switch, but also special edition Joy-Cons. Probably throw some, some brawl here game. after, and but... Like the pers- like, ah, so good. To a little bit later. Before we talk about any of this stuff in depth and what I think of them, I want to talk about the box. Oh, nice cut. This crazy we're able to do those speed ramps. Yeah. I s flawless speed ramps, like it's crazy. Look, like look at the, the scrubbing too. Dude, that's awesome. It's insanity. <laughs> look, I was uh. <laughs> No, cause I was already like uh, I don't know, like I was already this kind of changed my mind on everything. Okay. No, because I feel like I was I was positive with the iPad Pro in the sense that like, again, I feel like everyone's looking in the wrong direction. Like with photos, people like default to say like Photoshop isn't here, so it must suck. But like Drew showcased like Affinity Photo. Ah. It's almost like it's another section you gotta make for your, your video. Yeah, it's just like, no, it's just like everyone's like, everyone's looking at like, as at it as a laptop replacement when it's like an alternative. And you're looking for traditional methods when you should be looking for alternative methods. Now, people are trying to put hay in their car and going like, oh, why doesn't this work? Yeah. Like, it's not a horse, you idiots. <laughs> <laughs> so are you just grading manually in here? No, so like, no, there's a whole like... It's like a LUT library kind of situation? It supports LUTs. You can do color grading. So like I pulled green down, like did the contrast and saturation. But check this out. So like if I wanted to like uh, option A, you can copy like every single attribute. If you, oh. if you just wanted to like do that, like... And then it's a matter of like uh, option yeah. A, and you can paste like individual. It's crazy. Like uh, like a real editing program. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> what started out as maybe a terrible idea has got me hyped. My my favorite thing going on here is that you're charging your iPhone with the iPad right now. <laughs> <laughs> Multi-purpose. <laughs> we're out of we're out of battery banks. Dude, we did, uh, the other day I had to charge my mouse with the iPad. <laughs> Dude, you can take all night on the thing if you want. We oh no, I don't. I don't know. I don't need all night. Like, okay. I need like thirty I, more I minutes. I just don't want you to feel rushed. I do. I'm not. Master, I'm like. Rush your master, I'm on the home stretch right now. Okay. I like the in and out points. When you're not using an iPad, how long does it take you to edit a video typically? Um, I guess it depends. Like, I feel like depending on the complexity of it. Like, I mean, we've done videos from start to finish in a day. Like, what was, uh, we did something recently that was like turned around in like five hours. The last MacBook video, I think that like from start to finish from shooting to editing, I think was like five hours. Uh, but like the longer things, like um, in this case, the iPad reviews uh, taking a lot longer cause it's just a lot more into it. And I feel like we've also been working on like multiple projects at the same time. And then of course there's the dock and uh, jobs. Now, this is something I've talked about before a few times. I've never seen it. It's finished up right now. I'm about to export and I'm gonna time it. The final cut is four minutes and forty-four seconds. Yep, people are gonna go crazy and Jonathan save an apple again, but like for real, this is this is like legitimately legitimately useful and you can do some crazy stuff on this. So without further ado, I think it's time that we uh, we export this. Rich, you got that stopwatch going? I do now. So let's go, if you guys are in the, uh, the chat right now, four minute and 44 second video, I'm gonna guess that it's going to be real time or potentially a little better. What I love about 
Luma Fusion is there's like a bunch of just baked in like preset useful resolutions. It even supports two to one. Uh, and all of this is actually pretty on point with you know what is optimized for YouTube. So the bit rate's nice. We got the frame rate, the 3840 by 2160. Kevin is not two to one yet, so that's why we're not at 3840 by 1920. And uh, export duration, so that's the uh, final project length, space needed to export, and the estimated file size, which is pretty much right on point with like a compressor preset. So um, for those watching or just tuning in, this is not iMovie. This is LumaFusion, which is hands down the best option right now. So I'm going to, we're off, we're off. Start the, man, it is chugging. Holy mother. Update, minute 30. Oh, it's like catch, so it's like bouncing back and forth between real time. I think the, the big lesson here, I think everyone kind of just looks, you know, on, on the bare bones level of, they try iMovie out, they try Adobe Rush, and because that is not pro or whatever, then they assume that the iPad Pro can't do things. Four minutes and 22 seconds, four minutes and seven seconds. So I think, you know, kind of like I assumed, it was going to be just about real time. Matt was kind of not, I don't know, you didn't think it was going to be real time. I did not, yeah. Ooh, we're close. So it's going to be just a hair, a hair over real time. Four minutes and 43 seconds. How long is the actual video? Four minutes and 44 seconds. So it's gonna be just, just a hair, just a hair over over real time. We're at four minutes and 53 seconds. We are on the home stretch. So it's gonna be about five minutes for a four minute and 45 second clip. And we are done. All right, 5.05. Damn, 5.05. That's all I'm gonna say.